ECTVN, the station that inspires. Welcome once again, viewers, to ECTVN, the station that inspires. My name is Ernest Cosmic, and today I'm very excited to have an amazing woman in the, in the studio, studio here with me. She's, she's a, a relationship, relationship expert. She's a radio host at Sankofa Radio, also a CEO at Obapa TV. So help me introduce Obapa Ifia Wachewa to the program. You are welcome. Thank you. How are you doing today? By the grace of God. We thank God. I see you are looking all beautiful. Thank you. And I like and I like your smile as well. <laughs> yeah, you have to smile all the time. All the praise for Baba. We thank God. Mm -hmm. We thank God. For the sake of those who don't know you, who is Obapa Efia Abwachewa? Um, Obapa Efia Abwachewa um, is known in private life as Mrs. Ivy Enim. I'm a mother, a wife, a worker, and a radio host. Talking of radio hosts, how did you get into radio? Wow, thank you. My radio involvement is, uh, it's, well, I'm going to say I started, I got involved in radio through, um, I, I call him my own biological brother. He's Francis Frimpon Manso, uh, and people call him in Um, I was speaking with him some time ago, and he was like, you know that the way you talk, when you talk, people are going to listen. He also used to do videos, and he's like, why don't you start doing something like what I'm doing? Just look at what is going through around your community and put it together and just start doing something. So I'm like, oh, okay, wow. I started, you know, doing um, something. And my first video was about, um, in three, we call it Kokonsa, like gossipers. That was my first um, video. And that was how I started. I started doing videos, putting it on my Facebook page, on my YouTube channel, and then people start inboxing me about their problems and all that. So I did um, one video and I think the CEO of Sankofa Radio spotted it. I think it touched him. Wow. And then he contacted me to host um, a program in the radio station. So that is how I got involved with it. That's very amazing. Radio, yes. That's very amazing. Mm -hmm. I think I've watched a couple of your talk show okay. on YouTube, okay. and I've seen a couple of them on Facebook. Yes. What is your motivation behind Obapa TV? Thank you. The motivation behind Obapa TV is all about Obapa Effort System. That's the name of the program. And it's all about relationship and um, marriage issues. I center in that, like people bring their problems. You know, when you, I mean, you're facing a problem, sometimes you get confused. You don't know what to do. You need advice from people, not just anybody, somebody you can confide in, somebody you trust that, you know, it's not going to put your issue out there. That is why most of the time when I do my program, I don't mention names i don't even mention the state or wherever i mean the person is from so the obapa tv is mainly about obapa effort system it's about relationship and marriage issues wow yes can you talk to us a little bit about some of the challenges you faced when you decided to go into radio because i believe that there is no opportunity without adversaries Okay. So tell us a little bit about some of the things that you have to overcome, the barriers that you have to overcome to be able to do what you are doing now. Okay, um, thank you for using that word, no opportunity without adversaries. I had a lot of challenges when um, I was about to go in um, radio. 
I didn't just jump, uh, get up and started doing radio. And like I said, my first video brought a lot of controversies. I'm not going to mention names, but all I can say is if I had listened to people, I wouldn't, well, I'm not there yet. I'm trying to, you know, just get there. We're trying to get there. I wouldn't have been where I am right now. I wouldn't have been, I mean, doing radio. When I started this, I mean, people were saying, oh, she has nothing to do. She's always, I'm not going to mention names, but like I said, if I had listened to people, I would have stopped what I'm doing because they were, people were talking. And somebody even said that what I'm doing is so disgraceful. I'm disgracing my husband and all that. And I'm like, whoa, what am I doing? I'm not out there naked. I'm just only helping, you know, just sharing ideas and thoughts. So what's the big deal? You mean people have the courage to really confront you? Oh my God, on, I don't want to talk about this. Oh my God, this is really interesting. I don't want to talk about this it. This is really interesting. But being a relationship expert, mm -hmm. right now in the United States, about 50% <laughs> yes. of marriages end in divorce before the couples reach their 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. What do you think are some of the reasons why this is the case? It's, um, um, thank you very much. In my personal opinion, I think there are so many reasons, I mean, leading to that. And if I say I'm going to talk about it, it's going to take us the whole day. So I'm just going to elaborate on a few points. I think um, it's about deceit. Like you, I mean not being truthful to your partner, unfaithfulness, and the main is about financial, I mean, issues. You know, you can, I mean, know what, you know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> financial issues are the main cause of, you know, marriage breakdown here in America. So, like I said, if I said I'm going to talk about it, it's going to take us the whole day. Yes. Wow. I'll share with us a story that you did on your talk show that really touched you. Wow. Um, like I I said, I've been doing a lot of stories and I must say that what I mean really keeps me going, motivates me, inspires me to do more than what I'm doing is, you know, people inboxing you, people calling you to, I mean, give them advice. I mean, uh, people calling you about their problems. It really keeps me going. And one story that um, I heard that really touched me uh, is about this lady that met the husband here in America. And they, they were both schooling, so, and they, they had a baby. So the husband brought a suggestion that they should go bring his mother to take care of the baby so they can concentrate on their studies. And the wife was like, oh, that's a good idea. And then they brought the mother. And later, the, the wife came in from outside to find the supposed mother, let me say her mother-in-law, with a husband in bed. Wow. Having sex. That's interesting. So in a nutshell, the husband confessed saying that actually my parents are all dead. And this is the woman who, I mean, took care of me. And she is my sugar mommy. So all that I could do to thank her is to, I mean, bring her over. So I'm really sorry. And I'm like, seriously, how can you just do that lie to your wife that your sugar mommy is your mother? That is interesting. That is a very sad story. And the lady is, was a little heartbroken. But, you know, life must still go on. 
Wow. Yes. Baba, before we let you go, or oh, Baba, mm -hmm. I would like you to take the time and look into the camera because I believe that there are a lot of people out there right now that are in relationships mm -hmm. that they feel like they should get a divorce. And there are a lot of young people that are also about to get into marriage. Please take the time and give a word of advice to our audience. Thank you. You are looking at me right now. If you are in a relationship, I'm just, my little advice to you, I always say um, patience and humility. If you are in a relationship on the verge of getting married, study the person really very well. Make sure you know everything about the person from top to bottom. You don't just get up and jump into marriage. At the end, it's going to create a whole lot of problems. If you are in a marriage and you're facing any problems, know how to, I mean, solve it. I always say patience and humility. You have a problem, you're going to talk it over with your wife or husband. You have to know how to address it. There is a problem. They say two wrongs does not make a right. So I always say that in a relationship or in marriage, one has to be a fool. There cannot be two captains in the same ship. One has to be a fool. If you see that the other partner is being wise, you want to go on, just be the fool. That is my little advice to you. Thank you very much. If you have what you are for coming to the program. Thank you and very much. Thank you for the word of advice that you've just given to our audience. As you've heard, patience and humility. That is what is going to help your marriage grow. That is what is going to help you stay together in unity and in peace. So I believe you will take that piece of advice. Can you share with our audience how they can be able to contact you maybe through telephone or maybe email okay um anybody can contact me at my email address is abapa at sankofaradio.com the abapa is o-b-a-a-p-a -A -A at sankofaradio.com or you can go to my facebook page abapa efia Wachua, or youtube or you can make a date with me every Mondays on Sankofa Radio, 5 to 7 p.m. And every Thursdays, 7 to 9 p.m. Thank you very much, Obapa, for coming to the program. Thank you for inviting me as well. You are welcome. Thank you. To those of you watching at home via Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp, I just want you to know that marriage is an institution that needs to be enjoyed. Don't compare your 10-year marriage to somebody else's one-year marriage mm -hmm. if you want your marriage to work and if you want to enjoy your married life. So until next time on ECTVN, don't just live, live with passion. My name is Ernest Cosmic, and thank you for watching. CTVN, the station that inspires.